Hey, The Muffin Show here, and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to win this week's weekly. The key is that there's three pets to focus on. The Ogopogo, which is the new pet from the Unicorn Pack, that's essentially like a tier 2 pug. The pug, and then the MVP of this weekly, and to a large degree the most frustrating part if you play this weekly enough times, I'm talking about the Rhino. The strategy that I'm showing in this video is basically you just want to grab every Ogopogo and Pug you see because with the right positioning, both the Pug and the Ogopogo can both hit your frontmost pet. Then on turn 7, you want to level up pets into a Rhino. And if you do that, if you get enough Ogopogos and Pugs, uh, up to that point in the game, you can have, on turn 7, a level 3 Rhino during battle going forwards. And that has just such an insane power level. The Rhino is a pet that's, ever since they made the change so it does double damage to tier 1s, it has been a bit of a powerhouse. And in this weekly in particular, it's just, it's, it's a strategy that I've started calling the Nepo Baby strategy. The fact that if you are playing a pack with Pug and Ogopogo, they are just so flexible that you can get them set up and then as soon as you get towards the late game, you all you need to do is find a pet with a strong ability and boom it's level three and with pets like the rhino that's that's up to 24 damage per pet but anyway i've uh kind of gone off topic here we sold the pigeon i I'm really on the fence about the pigeon. It it should be decent, but I just I don't like it. I don't like three one stat line very much. I feel like the pet needs to have a really good ability or a really good um cell benefit and I just don't think the breadcrumb is quite good enough. I think it's very middling. We go up against a person running uh Ent, uh, Treant. Treant, I think, is overall a quite good pet. I had a game this weekly where I tried to win uh, a versus a player game where I tried to win with four Ents and a Sea Lion, and I ended up getting second. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't know if it that game's going to make it into a video, but it's it's a pet that after that experience, I think it's pretty good, um, but probably not, probably a temporary pet. It's not really the sort of thing you want to keep around going into the late game, because you at some point you either have to scale it past the point where it gets coconut or it it really just kind of it falls off quite a bit and this is ideal turn 7 instant rhino and what's really makes it busted is off of that okopogo level up we got another rhino this means once i rearrange my pets turn 7 level 3 Rhino. This is just absurdly strong, and the sort of thing that just annihilates. Just look at this destruction. 
I mean, that was a nice team you had. Be a real shame if everything died from this gatling gun of a pet. Uh, so, even though this game is really showcasing just how absurdly strong Rhino is in this weekly, after you've run this strategy a couple times, it can get pretty boring. So what are some other things you can do that can beat Rhinos in this weekly? I'll say that it's so satisfying, though, when you see it take out an entire team, even if it's just... You shouldn't be able to pull this build off this easily. But anyway, I think the funniest way to counteract uh, just how prevalent Rhino builds are, because they are the easiest way to win, is instead run Panther and give it Garlic. A level 3 Panther with Garlic takes 8 less damage, potentially, from rhino hits also because it's not tier one it's it's only going to take at most 12 and that's going to be cut down to four so that's that's one pet duel that i think is a lot of fun to counter rhinos the more consistent way is to just run a few rabbits and then stack stack cows and just get one to two units and just go over the top. If you can go over the top on the Rhino, uh, you can... I, the Rhino is really strong pet until something's able to go over the top stats-wise, and then the whole build falls apart. In this game here, we this was a turn seven, the equivalent of... In battle, a level 3 Rhino. Uh, we did get a level up to 2 here, so now I don't need to play the Pug one spot behind the Rhino. So I'm using it to level up the Mandrake. Uh, the goal of this is the strongest faint pet is, as we see in this fight, the Turtle, uh, which... Because the Pug has more attack than the Mandrake, it will level up the Mandrake before the Mandrake gives out its days. And so it works out quite well. Uh, here, it doesn't like show. Uh, I believe I looked at who was left and didn't think it was super important to get a good a level 2 mandrake for the fight so i decided it would be better to oh no i'm i'm getting ahead of myself yeah uh but that other team we just went against was us but not nearly as busted. Yeah, but, um, sorry, I got confused before. I believe before the end of this, I end up moving around the pug so that it's leveling up the tiger. But, um... As long as this opponent has the, this opponent is in, it's, it's definitely better to keep the pug giving experience to the mandrake. Man, the, the more, and I believe we just knocked him out, so I think this is where I go ahead and I switch the pug. Positioning. I freeze the wolverine, but I, in hindsight, I didn't really have an easy way to incorporate the Wolverine without just straight up replacing the Tiger, which really isn't 
the tiger has the tomato, it's, it's not worth it at this point. And there, uh, so basically that entire game from turn 7 onwards, the rhino soloed. And this is a perfect showcase of if you just really want to win and you want to steamroll things this weekly, this is the strategy that works the best. That's the most consistent way to win. Uh, once you start experimenting with other things, just go rabbit, cows, uh, stat up one pet. You just need to get one pet that can go over the top. Uh, but until you do that, rhino pets are going to ruin your day. Uh, I hope that was helpful and entertaining. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.